Hello you guys. So welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my go-to beat face. First I'm starting with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, then my Elf Hydro Grip to go ahead and prep the skin. And my first step these days is carving out the brows. For my brow concealer, I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade, I think it's, um, I'll put it in the description box below because I actually don't know the shade. But I like to do this first because it prevents me from using way too much product on my brows, which causes my brows to look very unnatural and like overly drawn in. And I really just like how my natural hairs are. I really don't have brow problems a lot anymore. Um, so I just like to kind of highlight them to where they stand out a little bit more when I have on makeup. So next, I'm going to be going ahead with my foundation. I am using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Tahoe. I love this foundation. This has been my foundation of the summer. And that's another thing, you guys. My, my routine changes a little bit as the seasons changed. Um, as I get older, my skin has changed. I used to be an extremely dry girl. Now I'm kind of like in between, more so on the oilier side a little bit it's kind of weird how your body changes but anyway um first I applied it with a mac brush to be precise with the amount that I used then I went in with my um real techniques brush I will have that brush in the description box below this is my favorite brush for foundation it just it just blends everything so well because I'm a brush girl now I'm really not into the sponges, the um, beauty blenders and stuff that much anymore, unless I absolutely have to, which is what I use for my concealer sometimes. Next, I'm going to go ahead and contour slash bronze because I don't use a bronzer with my Hourglass Foundation Stick. Um, I love this stick. It's so creamy, so easy to blend and work with. And it's such a rich color, like their color options are such good colors. And like I said, for my my usage it does the job some people use this to really contour like their nose their cheeks their forehead a whole lot and this is just an overall universal product for a foundation itself or the way that i'm using it next i'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my eyes my nose bridge a little bit on my forehead on my cupid's bow and my chin i like to use a brush actually the same brush that i use to carve out my brows because it's really precise um to again limit the excessive amount of product that i don't need so i go ahead and Put it exactly where I want it. This concealer is honestly so goaded because it blends itself. I don't care. There's so many on the market. You guys have seen my old videos. I have always used this concealer because it just works. Like I try different things and I'm going to show you guys now that I'm back on the tube with makeup, you know, different reviews and different ideas. But when you find something that works, it's really, really hard to do that. And this just works for me. It goes perfectly. But um, I am going to start looking for some more natural concealers because this is full, full coverage, um, which is me. I'm a full coverage girl. If I'm going to put my makeup on, I'm going to put my makeup on. 2023 or 2024 coming. We are going to start putting that makeup back on, okay? I love the natural um, the natural vibes that we got going on, but put that makeup back on, sis. Put it on. So next I'm going to be, um, you can see me going ahead and blending this out. I let it sit for a second, not long, because it really doesn't need it. Um, I'm using another Real Techniques setting brush. Um, this is my favorite brush ever. Like that also is my favorite, but that right there for my concealer, ugh. I can use it for concealer. I can use it for my setting my under eyes. I can use it for eyes. I can use it for bronzer. Like, it's so small, but it's so perfect. I don't know what they put in them bristles. I don't know. But it does the job. And you see, like I said, that concealer is so easy to blend out. No problem at all. But um, next, I'm going to also be using another concealer. And it's the, um, what concealer is this? It's the Tarte, the Shape Tape in the shade um, Light Medium Sand. Well, first, oh, sorry, I'm going a little fast. First, I'm going to blend the edges of where I put that concealer because you don't want no two-tone face, okay? We got to blend it and have an ombre face. 
Got to ombre it out. So now I'm going ahead and put in just two dots because that is very, very creamy. It's very um, pigmented as well. Going along my nose bridge only and under the front of my eyes and the edges of my eyes. And I let this one sit because it's a little bit more liquidy than the Too Faced. Next, I'm going to use my Juvia's Place um, Liquid Blush. This is so pigmented. Such a good one. I love the Rare Beauty, but I really have a whole relationship with um, <laughs> a good, healthy relationship with the Juvia's Place. The Rare Beauty, I have a love-hate because it like wipes away my makeup. I don't know if that's just me. And it's a little too oily. I tried the matte ones and everything. I, just, I like I like this. I like this one. It just works. <laughs> I love this color too. It's very Barbie doll-like. It's very bright. Um, but I do go in and still put another regular powdered brush, a blush on there as well. Just because I feel like any cream you use, you need to set it. You need to set it with the powder. Um, so this is the only time that you see me using my beauty blender and that's to just make sure that there's no brush marks under my eyes with the concealer that I just put on and then also to prevent any other creasings before I put my powder on to set under my eyes. For my powder, I use the Laura Mercier, the um, translucent powder. That's an oldie but a goodie. Um, I just use a sponge, a little sponge, a uh, little, ah, what is these called? They're little, little puffs. Yeah, puffs. And I like to put a nice amount first, and then I like to push the product under my eye. I do not bake a lot these days. Like, I do not bake really at all. I just use extra product alongside my nose because I don't contour my nose. But that somehow gives, like, the impression that I've contoured my nose. So go alongside your nose, girls, and that helps you eliminate a step. I didn't show you guys how I did my eyes, but that is the palette that I used, and it was the Jaclyn Hill um, Neutrals Palette with Morphe. That is also um, a part of my eyes that I just showed you. I'll have that link below as well. Uh, I cannot remember the brand off the top of my head, but I love to use that on my inner corners and my lids to add more pigment and exaggeration to the shadow to make it like intense it just really intensifies it and I love to put it on my inner corners because it just makes me look bright and awoke um, I'm also going to use an essence creamy black eyeliner I love their eyeliner it's so creamy um, and that was black because I just I love a good black sharp eye like I think it's so fire and then uh, curled my lashes using the giga black mascara by mac um i love doing like two or three coats of this i love a good long bottom lash um kind of doing a couple extra little finishing touches with the eyeshadow kind of intensifying how dark the smoky eye is um this is a trio by elf it's like a bronzing slash brush trio and i broke it that's why my face was like that i broke it a few weeks back so I hate when it does that. It's cheap, but I love this color. I can't shake it. It's got a whole a choke hold on me. I cannot get rid of it. Every time I want to pick something else up, I'm like, nah. Because look how it brought my face together. Look at that. Let's take a moment for the bronzed vibes. Love that for me. Next, I'm going to use a freshly sharpened cork lip liner by MAC hints on the freshly sharpened i feel like when your lip liners are freshly sharpened it really just hits different it just makes that lip so like crisp <laughs> it just does the job it just hits different it doesn't look as messy i feel like it even lasts longer because it's like i don't know and then i overline a little bit so like it being super crisp it's like a precise spot i don't know but I use that all on my lip line and then I obviously bring it in a little bit on the sides. Rub them together because it does the job for you. It's a really creamy lip liner. I love MAC liners. Um, I do it there, top and bottom, and I just bring it in. Mostly on the bottom, sometimes on the top. But like I said, every time I smack my lips together, it kind of does it for me. Next, I'm going to be using um, an Essence lip gloss. I'll put the shade and stuff in the description box because I do not know um, off the top of my head. But I put that all over, even on the lip liner. 
because I like a light lip. Like sometimes I like the dark liner, light middle, but sometimes I like an overall light lip with just a hint, like just a hint. Next, that was MAC Oyster Girl lip gloss. And that brings in some shimmer and a little bit of purple slash pinks. Um, next, I'm using my Benefit Brow, my Precise Brow Pencil, um, just to fill in the ends of my brows. Because, you know, in the beginning, we went ahead and just did a little bit. But, yeah, here we go. We're done. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed. It's been a long time, and you guys are really waiting on this video. So, I hope you got all the tips and tricks that you need for my 2023 makeup routine. Oh, my gosh, all of that just rhymed. Watch out, bars. Anyway, so listen, all the information that you'll need on everything that I use will be in the description box below. And I just want to thank you guys for coming back to my channel and still being interested in what little old me does these days to make myself look like this. Um, if you use anything, you recreate these looks that I'm always doing because I get that on Instagram. Like, I'm going to recreate and then you guys send me pictures. So, but I always tell them that on Instagram. So, if you guys on my YouTube family also do that, please somehow let me see. It makes me so happy to see that you guys not only learn, but then you apply. So, thank you so much for still being a part of this youtube journey with me um as you guys have seen here this is a new backdrop for me a new closet uh rooms closet slash room that i have been designing in my new home also it's not done but i will be doing a video on that give you guys like a little closet tour and give you guys some information on how i did this closet as well so thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel i love you all i thank god for all of you and i thank god for your consistent loyalty and love that you give unto me so i hope my videos reciprocate that on film and that, and you guys just continue to build this family that we are growing every day um to be the best that we're all gonna be together so thank you so much i love you all and i'll see you in my next video